previously in Dishonored. Orders remain the same, but I suspect it won't matter. I know where he's going. He will come to me. He'll have to. And now. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Clock, and welcome back to another episode of Dishonored. When we left off, we were cornered in the sewers by some sewer dangles. Some of uh, the uh, river crusts, that's what they're called. We have been cornered by these mamma jammas. And I think we should just run right past them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought, you know, I thought about trying to sneak up on them and to get a few slices on them or something, but just, I just, I don't want to. <laughs> so here we are. Swimming through sewage. Very clear sewage. In fact, I don't think this is sewage, despite us being in a sewer. Wow. Revelations. Come on! No. Oh, that worked. Man, these are some fascinating sewer design that you used in the uh, little dumbbell parts these days. Alright. What are we doing? Uh, sewer key, right, this, uh, Granny Rags. My, 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 if it isn't Granny Rags. Hey! Oh, yeah. Of course it's my, like, favorite character, Slasha. Quiet now. Yep. Granny needs yep. To concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rags, stop! What's up, guys? Stop what you're doing! Can we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton slack jaw. Yeah, nice I'm gonna borrow those, Granny. Strange smelling manuscript. Look, slack jaw. I need her keys. You oh There's my love. <laughs> hey. Are you ready to help get Slack Jaw's bones? Well, Granny has uh, some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to Listen, me. Granny. I do not cook men. Not going to help Granny. I am not. Well. I'm disappointed. I thought you might say that. I b yep, you know what? That is a wise decision. Let me just read your strange smelling manuscript. Stronger than scrimshaw, a skull full of guile, whale bile, bones in a pile, white scrap gleaming, kindle fire and crackle fat. Big black gobs of spat, fume up, fume up. Feathers, mad-eyed bird fell to ground. Seeds, nettle, needly, needle see. Stir a bit. Well, Granny, your poetry leaves something to be desired. I will leave you to it. Oh, shoot, I need your keys still, don't I? Uh, give me your things, and we'll be fine. <laughs> what's this? Explorer's Journal, excerpt from the Journal of an Explorer and Natural Philosopher. Dr. Hanazen's interpretations of the Pentisian carvings are the height of ignorance. The core theme is not renewal, but dire warning. The central figure, not a benign spirit, but clearly a monster. And the jewel, a type of fetish, the key to its stark potency, perhaps. The panel should read as follow. The hero figure steals a jewel from the monster and casts it into the un an unquenchable fire. Thus, the monster is made mortal, and the hero is able to slay it, breaking the cycle of terror. Notes scrawled in the margins. Vera has taken an inordinate interest in my field manual. Such appetites are unseemly in a lady of her station. I shall have to reprimand her. Second note written in a different hand. So dreary, dreary, dreary. That sounds like someone we know, Granny Racked. Huh. So, Granny... Okay. We know Granny Rags is really old. We know she was a noble lady. We know she went to Pantisia. We know she is now a witch. Is she, is she possessed by the monster thing? Is that what we're getting at? Is she trying to destroy the world with whales and rats? I think that's about where we're at. Huh. I'm very thankful she's allowing me to just walk around. Slackjaw, can I talk to you? Cheating what? You're down here. Yeah. Too. The least you could do is help me out. 
You swindled me good, masked man. And all along, you were the same bastard who killed the Empress. Oh yeah, Corvo. Word is all over the street. <sighs> First of all, I did not kill the Empress. Kind of upset it's not giving me, excuse me, a chance to correct him. I'm sorry, I'm just so worked up that I'm having trouble making words. But... Oh no. What? Oh, you uh, were standing right behind me. No? Look around. There's a cameo of a young girl. It's her. Oh good. Destroy it with the furnace. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her. Okay. Okay, so there's a, a pic All my picture of her. Come to me. Um <laughs> luckily marked. Open up, furnace. Uh hurry up for the rats. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Place cameo in the furnace. That you were a fool. Ow! God! Granny! What? That noise was so loud. Listen, Granny. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, gross. How did she get a giant... What? That's like a decapitated whale? No, that's a full whale carcass. What? Gross. Let's get out of here, man. Wanna know something funny? Yeah, I do. When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rag. Well, she'd probably try and cook you and eat you if you got too close, so probably a wise decision then in Slackjaw. And figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. True, brother. No, <laughs> it's hilarious. Listen. I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got. Okay. Left. Luck to you. Cole. Luck to you, Slackjaw. I hope to see you in the future. Nice. We got just like, what was that? Four, four, five hundred? Not bad at all. For a small town assassin, making my way in the big city. Here I come, world. Me and my whale oil. And are you ready for a conversation with our pal, the outsider? You find your way into such interesting places. Cole. What can I say? At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. Hmm. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. I'd rather fascinate you than bore you, you strange little demon man. Let's get out of here. Eh. Eh. Yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, we have we have fun here. We have fun here in the Royal Bodyguard. What's up guys? Corvo here. Hoping to have a great time. Give me your bullets and we'll be friends. I don't even Man, what a day. What a day. What's going on down here? Alive people. Wow. Ah, I thought so. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. So what is going on here? Oh sh- I- I just- I was just jumping around guys. Come on. Take- take it easy. Just joking around. <laughs> we got a survivor's camp here which I just scared to high heavens. I do- I wish you no harm, good people. Live on. 
Live on a memory of me, Camp Corvo. Oh. Well, thank you. Huh. Oh shoot. <laughs> uh, so, oh, that hurts a lot, actually. Good lord. Let's hope that wasn't uh, so loud to attract any attention. I say his bullets ricochet off the inside of this metal sewer system. Oh god. Living the life, guys. Give me your meat, your bolts, and your pears. That's what I always say. Anyways. Let's, uh... Um, oh, we're out. Nice. Breathe in the fresh free air. <gasps> to the Hound Pits pub. To Emily. <gasps> Flooded district. Mission statistics. Hostiles killed one. Civilians killed one. Alarms rung. Zero. Dead or unconscious bodies found three. And get chaos low. We don't need to look at the stats on the right side to know that they're absolutely terrible. But aside from that, thanks for watching, guys. Today, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like. And maybe even comment too. Thanks again so much guys, and I will see you next time.